Banner episode two. We got to watch this, okay? We got to fucking watch this, baby. This is, oof. Ooh, Cody Ko with the second epi. Hey, I don't want to be doing this, but um, I was inundated with requests after the first video. So here we are, MILF Manor part two. Now, I want to watch this because, like, I can't watch the show on stream. So I just love. I just love this. If you're new here, MILF Manor is a show on TLC. The reviews are in too. People are saying things about it. Every 22% people don't understand content. This is Orson Welles, okay? This is our generation's Kino. This is the greatest piece of television that has ever been created. This is finally when we get to like the most unhinged, when we just break the fucking seal, the dam is broken and we are just there to experience unfettered degeneracy. How the fuck are people describing this in negative terms? L take on tanks to Ukraine. Dude, what? I literally said, I don't care. Just send them more tanks. Or, or don't send them tanks if you don't want that. There's no, there's no wrong opinion on that. I, I gave you what you want to hear. I said, whatever you want to hear from me, I'm on board with it. I don't care. How is that an L take? Anyway, we're, we've moved on from Ukraine, okay? Is Zelensky making television still? No. Will Zelensky ever be able to create MILF Manor? Fuck no. Doubly no. Don't care. Take the tanks that we were supposed to be sending into Ukraine and give it to the fucking TLC producers. I'm willing to bet they would end this whole Russian invasion in less than a fucking week, dude. Give the tanks to the fucking MILFs. You know, it seems to be unanimously the most sick and twisted and demented show I've ever seen. And I agree with the critics. Truly, it is some sick shit the show oh, is about so moms in their early 40s and 50s that go on a dating show to date younger guys but the catch is that the guys are all of their sons and yeah this results yeah in super cool light-hearted super fun like not horrific at all dynamic in the slightest so it's a cool show now at the time of filming this only episode two has come out since i posted the first video so let's hop into it i just hope it's not like super weird right off the bat my mom does get a lot of attention from here uh <laughs> be mainly because she never wears bras and the girls are always popping out you know the head that's your mom's titties ow ow i just hit my leg so hard dude it made me jump oh my god i've already watched this clip i watched the clip on stream and it still made me react in such a physical way <coughs> <coughs> You're talking about your mom's cities. You're talking about your mom's cities. You're talking about wee woo wee woo. You're talking about your mom's tatas. That's your mom. That's your mommy. What the fuck? Oh, the the puppies are out every day. Woo hoo hoo. I like to go up to them and go awooga awooga honk honk. You know what I'm saying? Who who amongst us hasn't done that to their moms, dude? Wow. Lights are always on, so. Good. Awesome. Well, <laughs> at least it can't get much worse than that. It didn't bother you when you were a baby sucking on a meter, so let's keep it real. Because <laughs> I needed the milk, Mom. I needed some energy. Stop. 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 Halt the presses. Hold. 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 This man was breastfed until he was like eight years old, okay? This man was literally... Walking, upright, walking around, going, Mama, give me the titty. I need to, I need a sucky suck. Okay. What the fuck? What the fuck, Dad? Energy. You were really thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's already a huge bummer. Kind of puts the mommy milky jokes in a whole new light, doesn't it? Okay, so where we left off last time, Disco Mommy there was telling one of the other moms that she was gonna take her son to the fantasy suite. I get the fantasy suite tonight. You don't. <laughs> you actually don't. As a joke, right? Like you wouldn't tell someone's mom that you're gonna fuck their son. 
to their face? Like, why would you be that confrontational about it? I feel like you try to finesse it a little bit more than that, right? So, Paula. Yes. I'm taking your son out on a date. You are? No, why not? I'm a She's like, I'm going to suck the living shit out of your son's dick, okay? That's right. And there's nothing you can do about it because you signed a fucking contract that says you're going to try to fuck my son. And I personally like that, okay? And there's nothing you can say or do about it. I haven't told him yet. No? Okay, well, Disco Mommy, she just keeps surprising us. She truly does. Never let them know your next move, I guess, you know? It's like, yeah, I'm going to blend in and be normal. Psych, I'm going to say and do the worst shit ever, you know? It's like, never let them know, you know? This, is, this shit is vile. I love television. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. I can't wait for the revenge fucks from the moms. Because you know the moms are going to be so... The moms are going to be like angry. They're going to be like, well, I'm going to I'm going to fucking suck your son now. There's nothing you can do about it. How does this end? How do we arrive at the 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 inevitable conflict resolution? The moms fuck their own children. There you go. I said it. I'm telling you, dude, this show literally ends with someone doing incest. What I'm going to say, but I really feel that Kelly is like easy and I don't like that. I know for Jose, it's really important to have values. Then maybe don't come on this show. I don't know what your values are, but certainly this show does not fit in any set of values. Honestly, how are you not expecting an entire cast of Disco Mommies? It's TLC. Like, you're kind of lucky you just got one, to be honest. So right away, like, this is like three minutes in. Right away, it's, like, uncomfortable. And <laughs> yeah, no one. And I mean, no one fucks my son but me. <laughs> he came out of my pussy, and he will go back in it. <laughs> I'm out of control. I'm sorry. This show brings out the worst in everyone, but especially me, okay? And they start talking about, like, the moms start talking about like who they think is hot and who they want to go for. I already know all of the moms here love Jose. He's very intriguing. He definitely gives me the impression that he knows what to do with a woman in the bedroom. He knows how to take control. What? He has that get the job done mentality. By the way, I had not noticed her, but she's like the most average soccer mom looking mom there. Like she just straight up looks like a normie mom next to all the Skeletors. You know what I mean? It's kind of weird. Seriously? Wait, what? Yeah. Wait, yeah. She just looks like kind of normal. She's like a kind of normal mom. She's the most mom-looking mom out there. I really hope that, you know, sex does not happen on this show. <laughs> That's just so many levels of awful. Imagine the mom finding out that the son fucked, what, or, the, or vice versa, the mom finding out, or the son, the son finding out that the mom fucked one of their peers. Imagine Joey being like, you sucked on my mom's boobs? <sighs> Was there any milk left in there? <laughs> yeah, because I sucked them dry. <laughs> Dab me up for that. I mean, I know what that's like the whole point <laughs> of the show. I, just, I don't want it to happen, you know? Oh man, you fucked my mom. <sighs> okay, so the challenge today is they all wrote out their deepest darkest sexual secrets and basically they all go up on like the secret wall and one by one they have to go down look at the secret wall and guess which secret is their sons or their mothers and if they stump the other person like if they get it wrong then they win a date or something so you know again this should just be super chill and not like completely horrific to watch right so last night we got a text that we need to write down some of our deepest darkest secrets that no one knows about what we didn't know is that we're gonna be revealing these to the entire house and Oh, God. All of America, too. Don't forget that. Yeah, the entire house, but also 300 million other people, too. I started dating Six a billion, women, more like. but they were both just a hit and quit. I never called them again. That better not be Gabriel because I did not raise my Gabriel like that. What? Bro, you did not raise Gabriel at all. There's no better indication of your failure as a parent than going on the MILF manner, I want to fuck my mom or other moms, hopefully, show in front of the entire nation, okay? You've already failed, like, completely. Yeah, for sure. He definitely doesn't look like he would do something like that. No way. Him? That guy? No. <laughs>
I've had sex in public on a beach. My mom goes to a lot of nude beaches, so... I mean, what is what else is there even to say at this point, you know? Bro, this is like... This show, unironically, is making an argument for puritanical values. Every time I hear this man speak about, like, his mother's sexual liberation, I think it's probably... It was probably better when... Everyone was ashamed of talking about sex. Like, straight up. We went too far with this, like, let's discuss sex, baby. Let's talk about sex, baby. Who knew that it was actually, let's not talk about sex, baby. I think it's done. It's too much. I don't have to provide anything because Joey and Disco Mommy just keep providing you know yeah my mom goes to a lot of nude beaches so actually that's right man my mom throws a fucking back dude it's like what stop like most of the time she's at a nude beach like growing up like she was always at a nude beach like rarely saw her <laughs> classic mom <laughs> always with the girls out at the nude beach <laughs> <laughs> milk on the beach. I'm thirsty for some milk. So all the secrets are sexual, obviously, and it's pretty horrendous watching the sons read the secrets and try to figure out if their mom has had like an orgy or like they're like, has my mom, my, my mom have a seven person orgy? Uh, it kind of seems like her. Would the person that raised me, would she fuck a stranger in an elevator? Hmm. Yes. I like thinking about this. This is cool to think about. Yes. It's just cool to ponder this stuff. Didn't my the answer is yes. It's like, if they're on fucking MILF Manor, then the answer is yes. Did my mom get pink eye from eating ass? I can't remember. My mom ever had pink eye. She did have it growing up a couple times. Could that have been from eating ass? But by far the most fucked up secret on the board is I slept with my son's best friend. Like, Everyone that reads that is like, whoa, whoa, like clear, like that one is in another fucking league. It's like, who wrote that? Who did that? And then wrote it down, knowing that the sun was gonna find out today and also all of America. <laughs> Billy's secret with sex on the beach is kind of um, a little enticing since the beach is right here. <laughs> enticing? Bruh. I mean, she just keeps providing, honestly. But please, please, for the love of God, the Go. best friend one, please, please don't let it be her. Please. I, it's definitely Joey her. Joey has been through enough already on this no, show. No, it's definitely her. Truly. Joey's you remember up, that Cody. moment where she looked at him and said, this is your dad? Remember that? You're welcome. <laughs> this is your dad. <laughs> <laughs> that was a banger, dude. Yo, that shit was crazy. <laughs> Dude, dude. Oh, Jesus Christ. She is the goat. She is so insane. We got to run. I want to run her back. Through enough already on this show. Truly. You remember that moment where she looked at him and said, this is your dad? Remember that? You're welcome. This is your dad. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, I'm your dad now. It's so good. It's so good. It's pure cinema. It doesn't get any better than this, dude. Oh, my God. Dad alone should just get it, give him a pass for the entire rest of the season. Please don't hurt this kid anymore. Mine was a hit it and quit it. I, I hit it and quit it within uh, the first uh, couple days, multiple girls and never talk to them again. <gasps> oh! Okay, man. Sure he did. Sure. I'm sorry. That dude is such a virgin. Like, I don't know why I'm bullying this kid, to be honest. He's, as I said before, he's been through enough. Okay, please. No, he's definitely like, he, he sounds like a virgin talking about sex. Like, yeah, dude, I've hit it and quit it a bunch of times. You know, boobs. I love sucking on them. Not my mom's, though, but also, like, kind of my mom's. When I was a kid, I mean, you know, like well into my high school years. Oh, fuck. I, what, is that weird? 
Fuck. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I fucked a lot of girls and broke their hearts. <clears throat> it's just we're about to find out what Disco Mommies is. Please don't let it be the one. All right, the one that I guess from my mother was... I've had sex in public on the beach. No. Really? No, that wasn't Really? Me. Please, 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 please. It's going to be the- sex in a Michelin restaurant in London with a stranger. Oh, it... oh, thank God. Thank fucking God. Even I bet Joey- She fucked a stranger in a Michelin restaurant? That's crazy. That's also kind of wild. Like, hold up, what? I've actually seen an educational film where a mom shows her stepson how to have sex for the first time. Pretty solid. Yeah, I've seen that one too. I also saw the one where the stepsister is also doing the same thing. And uh, there's another one where, you know, the stepsister is stuck in home appliances. She just keeps getting stuck. It's so odd. And it's like, oh, how do we get you unstuck? By fucking, you know, by putting my dick in your butt. It's just how it is. She's just too clumsy, you know? That's just how it works. It's science. It's the right only it way. Like, oh, God. Thank God it was just that. <laughs> thank God my mom only fucked a stranger in a beautiful restaurant. Oh, thank God that's it. Could you imagine if it was something bad? Oh. Although I feel like if it was the best friend one, Joey would be like, Oh, come on, my bruh. <laughs> Bruh, so that's why you're always hanging out with Steven. Ha! Ah, mom, bruh. That's why he never wants to get lunch, because he's always so f filled up on milk all the time. Ha! Ah. Anyways, the only other person that I really hope that's not their secret is so young. Okay, my secret is I slept with your best friend. I mean, we knew it was coming eventually, but fucking hell. His face just said it all there. Just every emotion you could possibly process happening at one split second. That's pretty funny. Dude, it's kind of, it's funny as fuck to see this happen. No, it's awesome. That's fire. I'm so glad this show exists. He's like, this is the moment where he's like, maybe it wasn't a good idea to fucking actually be on this show. <laughs> everyone's everyone's laughing at him too that makes it so much worse dude oh my god that's awesome this is fucked man i don't even understand like how they're like ah! like that's not a oh kind of thing you know that's like a oh kind of thing you wouldn't be like ah what no yeah bro yeah. yeah you would yeah but you would you'd be like so like, you did what? You did what? Yo, that's fucked up. Yo, are you good, man? Like that's, that'd be your reaction, right? You would, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which makes me think that it's fake, but then like her reaction, she's like choked up as she's saying it. Like you can tell, like she's like regretting the act and also him finding out. This is heavy shit. I didn't think this show could get more intense, but this sucks. <laughs> Joey's best friends kind of have been with him since elementary school. That would be a boundary I would never cross. See, even Disco Mommy's like, yo, that's fucked up. <laughs> her, even her. Why would you put that down? I knew you're not going to get it. Okay, so say it. So I put that down oh because God. I thought you're not going to get it. <laughs> you over here smashing my friend. <laughs> <laughs> His voice. His voice, dude, he, he's so, it's not, he's not acting. You, you, smashing my friends. <laughs> Bro, that's not normal. This is not normally. Check him PC. Oh my God. Yo, that, that instant regret, dude. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, he is, he is clutching onto that pillow for dear life, dude. So he can feel anything in that moment. Okay. If he lets go, if he lets go of the death grip on that pillow, it, he might evaporate. Okay. He might turn into dust. 
the way he said that, oh, you can <sighs> just tell how fucking destroyed he is. But he's trying to save face in front of everyone. God, this sucks. <laughs> Smash it, my friends. Are we done? That's the most savage thing I think yes. anyone did. <laughs> the fucking e-boy guy. Just distilling it down to, dude, that is savage. Yo, so young, that is beast mode. Yo, that is some serious riz. So young. Can't believe you rizzed up his best friend and then fucked him. But then it gets really dark. And there's like this like, iPhone selfie footage of him like, talking about how he feels. Just finished the Wall of Secrets. Damn. Not what I thought it would be like at all, honestly. <laughs> this one hits deep. This one, this one, I just. Dude! Dude! Dude, that boy ain't right, dude. He's broken. Oh, it's so sick. God, it's so depraved. I love, I love reality television. Like, what? Where do you go from here? Like, a part of me is like, man, you know, like back in the day, you know, they had gladiators, right? Like people just like fighting for their fucking lives, like dying and shit, and people would just like sit there and watch. This is like the emotional version of that. You know what I mean? This is like psychic damage that you are putting on people for the sake of pure enjoyment. And we're just like sitting here eating popcorn. It's so awesome. Oh my God. I mean, it's over. The bond that you have with your mom is is over. Like you will never, you will never recover from that. Did not see coming at all. Like, it's like, Jesus. Which is kind of a fucked up thing for the producer to, to do, too, right? Like, hey, I know this, like, really traumatic thing just happened to you, and you're processing that, but can you just, like, relive it real fast for the for the self, for the iPhone, just so we have that shot, too? We want the shot of you experiencing it in real time and then experiencing it again after alone. And then it cuts to him naked in the pool, just shit-faced. My man is tanked just swimming butt ass naked in the pool <laughs> and his mom comes over to like what? try and get him out of the pool and they're just arguing and he's not making any sense and it's just it's just really sad oh come really on sad. come on i want to see i need to see it i need to see all of it come on cody don't fucking censor this god damn it what are you the canadian government what the fuck is this shit dude give it to me i want to see all i want to see someone's I want to see someone spiral out of control. I'm a sick fuck, dude. Yeah, that's right. Yes. Come on. No. No. No, let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. I'm, I'm honestly, I'll listen to you. Can we go in a room and talk, baby? No, it's not about talk. Everything's understood. Everything is. When I go in that room, we're not going to talk. Dude. I understand. Okay, and it's okay. It's not too far. You haven't it's seen censor, too far. Chat, you don't live in my world. Oh, oh, he's going Joker mode. He said you don't live in my world. What is he gonna do? I, like you can't even retaliate. At, at a certain point, you're like, what are you retaliating against your mom? Like, what are you gonna do? Fuck one of her friends? I don't think she's gonna care. The only thing you can do, the only thing you can do in this circumstance is just fuck the friend. You have to have sex with the same friend. Alpha dominance. Fuck your friend right now. There's no other way to salvage this. You have to fuck the same friend. So sad. But I will say in the middle of his drunken rant, he does drop what could be the quote of the year. Some people can't handle the realness, right? Look. It, it gets it gets difficult in life, right? It gets too real, and you want you you want to run away. Some people just can't <laughs> handle the. <rain. laughs> Damn! I love that he's just talking to the DPs too. Like he's just so drunk that he forgot he was on a show. He's just fucking sitting there, like, "What do you think, camera guy? What do you think, camera?" He's saying like some people can't handle the realness, and he's talking about himself, dude. <laughs> Fuck! Man, put the camera down for a second. What do you think? Can you handle the realness or what's good? Because so many people can't handle the realness. Look, I feel bad. I, I don't want to, like, this, he's he's going through it. He is going through it. He yeah, can react camera guy's like, however he needs to in order to deal with what just happened. But that doesn't change the fact that I want to get people can't handle the realness as a bumper sticker. I didn't expect this at all. 
Really? What? What did What did you expect? <laughs> Why? What did you think was gonna happen? You thought your You thought your son was gonna dab you up? You're gonna be like, "Fuck yeah, mom! That was fucking fire." Which one of my best friends you fuck? You wanna fuck more of my friends? Actually, <laughs> you're 50 years old. How did you not realize that this would be bad to disclose? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. Did you expect exactly? I feel guilty. But I'm a human. I'm a woman, too. I mean, if... What? It happens, I guess. No, I mean, I don't know. Shouldn't be on national TV. Shouldn't. Shouldn't be. Now, I don't know if this is the most appropriate or inappropriate brand deal I could be possibly doing right now, but I want to thank the sponsor of this video, which is BetterHelp. BetterHelp is the world's largest... <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> well, luckily, right after all the, the realness... <laughs> Oh, that made it even funnier, dude. Holy shit. Hey, Jolly, are you fucking distraught that your mom fucked your best friend? <laughs> Here, talk to an AI chat bot, dude, at betterhelp.com. <laughs> oh, God, what a, oh, what a journey this has been. What a fucking journey. Have you ever had a friend? Have you ever had your mom fuck one of your best friends and you need therapy, but you can't like actually go through the regular protocols because it's goddamn expensive in America? Talk to an app. Some obviously staged shit, <laughs> which is equally uncomfortable, by the way. Not sure which I prefer. So I want to talk about things that, uh, that are amazing about you. About me? Yeah, that caught my, my attention a lot. Oh my like, God. The, the what way what, that you what are they? What are they? titties that's it what, what what else manage your space how you shine wherever you go how you stick to your god to yourself so it's very admirable i'm glad you like it <laughs> like what the fuck is that they've known each other for one day why is he talking like they've been dating for five years why it's so like forced and i love how you take space up in a place especially with your titties it's so good it's like every time you walk into a room, your titties are walking before you. And I like that. <laughs> the Rizzler, dude. The Rizzler. Yo! <laughs> uh, what I like about you is uh, the medical fascination I have. <laughs> How far doctors have come. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, weird. Who has ever said, I want to talk about all the things that are amazing about you on a first date? If you said that on a first date, they would leave. They'd be like, oh, okay. Moving a little quick. So far, being alone with us in the water has been amazing. Being here and seeing this beautiful sunset and, and how be beautiful you look, this is a really special moment as well. Oh. Why, why is this like a movie all of a sudden? What the fuck is happening? It's the so vibe good. is so. Shut off. up, Cody. Why is it so. It's why Kino! Is it so you can it's fucking. <laughs> <coughs> it's Kino! The fuck do you mean, dude? These guys deserve an Emmy. Actually, fuck that. They deserve all the Emmys, okay? See him like trying to remember his lines. Now is the whole thing fake? I don't know what to believe anymore. It's the weirdest vibe, TLC. What the? F it's you can't pin it down. What's real? What's not? Does it make it better if it's all fake? Probably not. Anyways, they kiss with the sunset in the back, and it's just weird and sort of just tough to watch. And and I know what you're thinking now. You're thinking this episode seems to have everything we could possibly want. What's missing? Racism. Stephanie and Jose speaking Spanish. No! They got racism involved too? Dude, they have everything. Yo, Milf Manners got it locked down, dude. Who would have thought a show that centered itself around like incest 
would ultimately also give us content in that field. God, this is so good. Fuck, man. God, I love reality television so much. It's fucking crazy. You know, and their little group is definitely making everybody feel uncomfortable. For me, I want to know what you're saying. And if you don't want me to know, then, like, go somewhere else. Ugh. Oh, the most soccer mom is pissed off. Why aren't you speaking our language, motherfucker? You know, and their little group is definitely... Racism. Stephanie and Jose speaking Spanish, you know, and their little group is definitely making everybody feel uncomfortable. Yes. Me, I want to know what you're saying. And if you don't want me to know, then like go somewhere else. Bro, that's awesome. That's so good. Oh, that's so fire. You don't like it. Get the fuck out of MILF Manor. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck? You don't like it. You can get out. This is MILF Manor country. Okay. You speak American and MILF. You speak mommy milker and MILF in this in this goddamn country. <laughs> it's filmed like in Mexico and Mexico. Of, uh, you know, if you don't want me to know what you're saying, then go somewhere else, you know? Like, back to where you came from. <laughs> you know what I mean? That had, a, that had a little bit of that in there. Oh! It's rude. No, I'm telling you, it's rude. It's rude. No, no. no. It's a little bit of It's just a bad habit. Oh, bad no. habit. It's rude. It's my first language, our first language. Yeah. But you're not, you're not here to speak your first language. Okay, I know, but Yo, that's fire. That's fire. Dude, this is so awesome. Come on, come on, come on, come on. This is fire. This is Uego. Okay, it's a fucking incredible. You're not here to you're not here to spike your first language. <laughs> you're here to fuck my son. Okay, that's what you're here for. You're not here to speak in Latin. You're here to speak the language of love. Fuck my son or shut the fuck up. It's <laughs> real. It's a little bit of It's just a bad habit. Oh, bad yeah. habit. It's rude. It's my first language, our first language. Yeah. But you're not, you're not here to speak your first language. Okay, I know, but I'm talking Yeah, you're here to fuck my son. Yeah, we're talking to you. Together. But it's rude when you do that in front of other people, like it's Ricky or me. <laughs> oh my God. I can't believe this. It's fucking rude to speak your first language, all right? It's fucking, oh, what are you even saying? Oh, vamos a la playa. Nobody can understand you, all right? It's rude. To speak the language that you, that your brain is hardwired to speak because you were raised speaking it, don't speak that, okay? This is America. Actually, we are, we're in Mexico, but this is an American show, so speak American. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, well, that's the second episode. I hate it. I hate it. It's so good. It's so fucking good. Oh my God, shut up, Cody. You're a fucking hater. It's so good. When is DILF dormitory? Okay. Society has not advanced to that level yet, okay? Not to, not to be that guy who's like, oh, reverse the roles, but like, no. I'm not kidding. That show, actually, you know what? Maybe, maybe we have adv advanced to that level. I think they probably would do that. I could see that. <laughs> Time me out for a minute, bro. I need it for my mental. Yeah. Yeah, they could. I think they could do that. Yeah, I I like it. Oh fuck! I hope they make it. I agree with everything that everyone said about this show on Twitter and elsewhere. It's sick and demented. It's fucking twisted. Like they're they're like actively destroying families. That's what this is doing. Make sure you tune in next time for the guys to do a strip tease for their own mothers. The shirt comes off and all the ladies go crazy. Ah! Yep, for Joey to lay down some sizzling riz like you've never seen. I would have never thought that I would be here with such a beautiful woman. And for this guy to say this. They don't really have the right size condoms for me here. Yes. Yes, it's so good. <laughs>
It's so good. Oh, no. Oh. Ugh. I have goosebumps. Full body. Okay. It's just like, they. how did they make the best piece of television possible? It's so good. Every part of this show is so good. Wow. Yeah, th this implies that he went there and, like, tried on multiple condoms. It also... The implication there is that his penis might be too small for the condoms. That's another funny uh, takeaway from that process. So... It's just great. It's great. There's so many avenues, you know? It's just like, yeah, I've tried on every condom, and they're fucking big here. I don't know what's going on. The fucking condoms here. Like, they kept giving me different sizes, and, like, fucking, I couldn't do it, right? Like, it's odd. That. Okay, another tough watch. Thank you, TLC. Please like this video and subscribe to Cody Co. on YouTube. Okay, we got why foreign men struggle dating in Japan. I feel like with Japanese. Which literally.